Uh, hello, it's uh, Stuart from Isla again here. Um, just an update on what we've been doing. So previously we talked about um, testing for Fluke and our approach. So, so far this year we've been testing um, our use. Um, we do another test next week. So far we've not needed to dose for Fluke and uh, waiting on next week's tests. Uh, but due to the weather, I'm kind of expecting that we will need to, to dose, but we'll wait on the test results just to confirm that. The test we've done so far this year has been the uh, copper antigen test in the uh, feces, um, just to show if there's been any fluke up to six weeks old. Um, so far, they've all been um, you know, zero results, um, and we'll see what happens with the next one. So building on the uh, work we've been doing with our fluke testing and to uh, further look at the resilience to you know, changing weather patterns, We've started using no fence GPS collars on our cattle. So we'll be using them this winter to graze more of the hill area that we've got, try and defer the um, use of feed and silage, um, just so that in the future we are more resilient to um, worse summers, wetter um, autumns um, and wetter winters. So the benefit we hope to see this winter is that we'll be able to use the hill um, better with the collars by uh, controlling where the cows go by uh, blocking off areas of the hill, uh, we can periodically move the cattle. So reducing poaching and also, um, you know, maximizing the utilization of that hill grazing. Um, we can also use it to exclude them from areas that are potentially, you know, um, higher risk fluke areas. So really wet areas of the farm, we can exclude them from and then graze uh, the rest of the hill and then hopefully defer, you know, feeding silage until later on in the winter.